This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Recently, I made a video on vertical icons, changing them with SysTweak. And in order for that to work, you needed to have a theme that had vertical icons. So the purpose of this video today is just to do a simple quick guide of getting a vertical theme or themes in general, the easiest route possible on your switch just to help those that want to follow my other video on vertical icons. And I will have a video guide to get them uh, sorted out with just a simple theme. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up the SD card that we're using on the switch. And you do need to have CFW already set up in order for this to work. So if you don't have this, I will have a link in the description to one of my video guides that can get you sorted out with CFW. Right now I have the latest version of it, of my packs, and it has atmosphere 1.8.0, the latest release. And it does work with the latest switch firmware, which is right now 19.0.1. But once we have the CFW on the SD card sorted out, we can now go ahead and download the two files that we need for today. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I am going with the easiest route possible. Here we have the NX themes installer, and that just helps you install the theme. And then we have a just pre-made downloader theme that we're gonna install on the switch. I went ahead and went this route for the sake of this video, just to get somebody set up with any type of theme, in this case, a vertical theme. But somewhere in the future, I will revisit this and show you all how to change the images that you want. Maybe you want the same theme, but you want to change your own image. I know another person asked me about animated themes, and I've been working on it for so long, and it's just very complicated. But I figured out that you can download you know, somebody else's theme that has animations, and you can add your own images. But I'll get back to that somewhere in a future video. For now, we're gonna just download a theme and install it. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so all of the links that you're gonna need are gonna be in the description down below. So let's start with the first one. It should say something like click here for the NX themes installer, something like that. Once you click on that link, it should take you to this GitHub page for the release of the NX themes installer. And you're always gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the latest version available. So right now it's 4.7.1, but if you're in the future and there's a 4.72, then you get the latest version. But since we're on this version here at the time of this video, we can scroll down and we have the NX themes installer NRO. Just click on this link to start the download process and then have it move to the desktop like I have done already. The next thing that we're going to download is a theme. So if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to download this specific theme because it has vertical icons and to help, you know, others that are going to be following my vertical icons video. After that, you can download any other, uh, theme that you would want to try out for yourself. So with the themes in the description, there's going to be a link for this website called Themeser. And, you know, to keep it the most simple way possible, you're going to want to click on this tab for packs. Now you have a themes option here, and this allows you to choose separate themes for different items of the switch. And this gets a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to stay away from that. For now, I'm going to click on the packs. You have a search option here. You can change for creators, for layouts, but my option should be here. If you don't see it, then you can uh, search switch deck and it should show up. So once you find the, the theme that you want to use, you can go ahead and click on it. And they all have the same format. They show you what it looks like here. And this one has vertical themes. You can go ahead and scroll down and then click on download the pack. That's pretty much it. Once you have it downloaded, you can have it moved to the desktop like I have done already. Most of the time, a lot of people make their packs with, you know, vertical icons, horizontal icons, and also, you know, standard default icons. So you can look around and make sure you can also find probably a switch deck with regular size icons if you like. But once you have them downloaded, now we can go back to the SD card and we need to put these in their correct folders. So the NX themes installer goes right into the switch folder. So once you have your SD card open, you're just going to highlight the NX themes installer and then drag it and copy it into the switch folder. Pretty much it. Now with the theme, before we add the theme, I believe you need to enter the theme 
the switch injector on the switch first because it creates a themes folder and then we had to go back into the sd card and add the themes into it so before i add this one already we're going to go ahead and eject go into the switch and get into the nx themes so, so let's go ahead and do that all right so here on my switch you can see that i have the default layout and i have no theme active at the moment so what we need to do first is go into the hb menu without applet mode so you can either go into it with a folder if you don't have this you can leave a comment down below and i can share with you mine or you can go into any installed game that you already have and do the title override by holding the right shoulder button and entering the game while holding the right shoulder button until you get into the hb menu without applet mode so you'll know that you're not in applet mode if you don't see those big red letters on the top of the screen that say applet mode. So once you have the correct way of getting into HB menu, go ahead and enter it. And here you can see I'm not in applet mode. You can see on the top right hand of the screen, we can go ahead and look for the NX themes installer. And this does a, you know, the process of like extracting all of your system data so that way you can install themes and also make themes if you would like to in the future I'm going to go ahead and click on extract and then it says uh, you know any type of guides tells you where you need to put your stuff or it's telling you where your themes folder is at just in case you update or anything you always have to uninstall and you know you want to read that it's really important go ahead and click ok and we are done so the way I have my switch set up is if I reboot right now, it's going to go back into HIC8. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, before we continue, I would like to say that even though I'm going back into HIC8, I'm just going back into my SD card. And I prefer using HIC8 with the SD card tools because I can extract zip files into it like that. Now, it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. But anyways, back into my SD card. We can now locate the theme folder that was created with the NX themes installer. Enter it, and here you have your personal data of your switch, layout of your theme, and stuff like that. And we want to extract the theme onto the themes folder. So I always use 7zip to extract all of my files. If you want to follow along with me, I'll have a download link to 7zip as well. But with 7zip, I'm going to right click on my zip file, locate the 7zip tab, and then click on open archive. A lot of times, if you have a more complex theme, you're going to have all the options that the pack comes with. You have the all apps, the home menu, lock screen, the news, all this gets changed and you could add them all. You could add just one, which we're just doing the home screen. But if you want to be on the safer side of things, you can highlight them all and extract them into the themes folder. But since there's a lot of them, you can actually make a subfolder. I'm going to put uh, the switch deck here. I had left my <laughs> keys on all caps. But once you have the switch deck there, you can extract all the files of your theme onto the created folder on your themes folder. And there we go. We have them all in there. And that's it. We should now be able to go and test it out. So let's get back on the switch. I'm going to eject out of the SD card and I'll see y'all when I'm back on there. Okay, so back here on the switch, we're going to go into the HP menu again without Apple mode. And then we're going to look for the NX themes installer again. So go back into it. And here under the themes tab, you should be able to see your themes or if you made a subfolder, which I did here for the switch deck, you can go into your subfolder. And here you have all the files that you should install for this custom theme. I believe you can multi install. Uh, I think it's Y to multi select. You press Y and then you press A to install. And then you press plus to install it. There you go. Now it's installing all of the items from this pack. Once it's done, you can go ahead and reboot and check to see if it works. Okay, so after you reboot, you should be able to go back into your CFW and this time you should have a custom open screen to unlock the switch you should now be able to see a different setup now i have vertical icons and if you haven't seen my previous video on vertical icons yet you probably have your icons all stretched out like these two here like the tinfoil the retro art you can tell that it's kind of 
just elongated and these two here the mario luigi and the sonic are not they are in correct aspect ratio and that's what my previous video on sys tweak with vertical icons is for so if you're interested in this you're you're seeing this one first and you want to have correct icons and you can go ahead and check that video which i'll have a link in the description as well that's pretty much it everything that we installed now we have custom icons we should have a custom settings so now it looks like the switch deck i don't know i don't have a switch deck i mean mm -hmm. i don't have the steam deck so i assume that this is the kind of color scheme that it has but there you go now that is a an installed theme you could go back into the switch the nx themes installer and every time you do like an update for for uh, switch firmware you're going to want to go into here and then uninstall your themes or uninstall everything that's up to you once you install your theme then you can go back into your other themes and install anything else. that's how you install the themes i will get more into detail on that uh, on a future video but for now hopefully it works out for you but of course if it doesn't you can leave a comment down below and i'll try and help you out as best as i can now with that being said thank you for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one